eight sacrifices you must make before you become a success. In this video, I'm about to tell you eight sacrifices. If you haven't made them already, on your journey to success, you must make these sacrifices before you can actually become successful, okay? So stay tuned through this whole video, okay? And if one of these eight sacrifices resonate with you, just simply confirm it by pressing thumbs up on this video. My name is Trina Sanderson. You're tuning into the famous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. I know you've seen the thumbnail where I had the world's most elite military personnel the Navy SEALs the Navy SEALs are the guys that they call for the last line of defense these are the very best in the world these are the most mentally strongest warriors soldiers in the world these are the most intelligent soldiers in the world. They had to call the Navy SEALs to capture Osama bin Laden. They had to call the Navy SEALs to go get Saddam Hussein, the world's greatest terrorist. Do you know what happens when they are training Navy SEALs? Yeah. They start out just like me and you, recruits. Just want to make it, just want to become successful, be a hero, man. But they mentally break down each recruit. They mentally take each recruit through a refinery process, boot camp. They break down the mind of this recruit who says, I am a soldier, I want to be a soldier. They get him down to his weakest mental point to see if you're fake or if you're a non-believer. Because all you gotta do to quit is ring the bell and you could go home. All you gotta do when you're trying to become a Navy SEAL is if you wanna go home, just ring the bell and just say you quick. So they break you down mentally to see if you're fake or if you're phony. Do you really wanna be successful? Is you really about that life? And you'll do anything to get there? Or are you just a fake? You just say you want it. You just rah rah ga ga. And then the ones that last through hell week, hell week is the last week that the Navy SEAL training takes place in San Diego. Hell week. And if you can make it through hell week, the last week, then you the chosen one of all the people that tried out. So let's get down into these eight painful sacrifices, okay? The first sacrifice that you will have to make before you become a success, you will have to get out of a habit of being comfortable. As soon as you set the intention and set the goal that you want to become successful, the universe starts throwing you everywhere. The universe start putting you in situations that are uncomfortable. As soon as you want to do great, as soon as you want to be the one, as soon as you want to be the big time celebrity, the universe makes everything in your reality go wrong. It makes you uncomfortable on purpose. This is the refinery process of becoming a success. So on your journey to success, one of the eight sacrifices is you will never, ever be comfortable you have to get used to being uncomfortable so that when challenging times arise you will know how to handle them so that's the first thing that you must sacrifice your comfortability in order to become successful the second painful sacrifice that you must make before you become successful is getting used to people coming and going 
So you won't really have that many friends like like your bestie be hanging with you for the all your life. No, no, that don't that don't occur when you want to become a success. There will be people dropping off at your left, dropping off at your right. They will come and go as quick as they came. To the point that you get used that you get used to meeting people and then they just walking away into the sunset this is a painful sacrifice that you must make before you become successful because so many people are geared to think that people are supposed to stay in their life forever and then when somebody leaves somebody in the friendship somebody turn their back on them they break and they fold and they get sad that can't happen when you want to become a success. So you must get used to people coming and going out your life all the time. And no matter who they are, it could be anybody. Nobody is exempt from meeting you and then leaving you for no unknown reason. Okay? So the third painful sacrifice that you must make before you become successful you may have to leave home. I'm gonna say that again. You may have to leave home. The very place that you grew up, the very place that you roam. I like to refer to the scriptures a lot. And I can remember back in the Bible where the character Jesus had to leave his hometown, Nazareth. Because people in his hometown didn't think that he was who he said he was. So the universe had to shift Jesus's reality to where he went away from where he grew up from to do what he was set to do. And you may have to do the same thing too. You may have to leave the place that you want roam and go out into the wilderness. My favorite movie, 300, The Spartans. Before you became a leader of the Spartans, they will send you out into the jungle to fight the lions, the tigers, and the bears. And then we seen in the movie where he came back, Lee Unitas, he came back with a wolf fur on his back, signifying that he was the one to lead the colony, to lead the army. So a painful sacrifice that you have to make is you might have to leave where you grew up in order to blow up. Okay? So if that resonated with you, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> the next eight painful sacrifices that you must make in order to become successful, you may have to go against the belief of your very own parents we hear the story all the time success stories where the person that becomes successful they say well you know my daddy did this my you know my daddy did that you know my daddy was a real estate agent but you know i just completely went against wanting to be a real estate agent like my daddy you know my mama yes yeah, she was a doctor but you know i, I did it for a while but i Something about it wasn't right, so I had to go against my mom wanting me to be a doctor. Yeah, my, you know, my, my mom played basketball all through school, and she went to college to be a basketball player, and so, you know, she trained me to be a basketball player, but, you know, I had to go against the belief of my parents. You may be in a position right now where you're doing what your heart is telling you to do and it's totally on the contrary of what your very own parents believe. Listen, this is just a painful sacrifice that you must make before you become a success. And this is one of the most painful sacrifices because we all love our parents, whether they're here in our life or whether they're away from us. And we don't, maybe we don't know who they is or whatnot, but we still, somewhere deep down in our heart, we still think about the belief of our very own parents not being in alignment with your future and you becoming a success. 
So that's a painful sacrifice that you just must have to make. You might have to just go against what your very own parents are telling you to do versus what you feel you should do in your heart in order to become a success to where you can go back and help your parents. Okay, the fifth painful sacrifice that you must make before you become a success. And this is one of the sacrifices that I had to make before I became successful. You may have to give up your very own job in order to step into your destiny and become a success. You could be at your job for 10, 15, 20 years. Then all of a sudden, you awaken to your true divine self and you know that you can't be here any longer. It's not good for your health. It's not giving you the money that you desire. You know that you have to separate yourself. Like the, like the wheat is separated from the shaft of a corn. Okay? The universe may want you to give up your job to step into your passion that you already making a little bit of money off of so that you don't have to give your eight hours to the job that you're working every day, but you can give eight hours to your passion and make more money than you're making right now. So you may have to give up the career path that you're on right now in order to become a success, okay? See, a lot of people say, Trend, man, Trend, how did you become successful, man? How did you become successful? How did you do it, man? I be seeing you traveling and all this stuff and all that stuff, but they don't know my story. Yeah, I'm from that shot town dirt. You know, I went from being broke to sleeping in black shirts. <laughs> you know, you know, people never gonna see your story and all these painful sacrifices that you have to endure. They just see your glory. They just see your money. They just see your jewelry, your shiny necklaces, and your Apple watches. But they don't know what you had to go through, that you had to give up your job, that you had to sacrifice taking a pay cut to do your passion in order to become a success. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. Speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below and let me know who sing that song. <laughs> The six painful sacrifice that you must make before you become a success. You may have to sacrifice your living standards. You may get into a mindset where it's like, you know what? I'm tired of depending on people. I know that I'm in this alone and I only want to depend on myself. So you may have to have the painful sacrifice of giving up your living standards. You may even become homeless. You may even have to go to the homeless shelter on your journey to success. You may even have to stay with your cousin who you don't even want to stay with in order to become success. You may even have to move back to your mama house in order to become a success. You may have to move with your father, your grandmother, on your journey to success. So you may have to give up your living standards in order to become a success, okay? But the real true way to become a success when it comes to your living standards is putting yourself in the position to where you don't have to depend on others like my mama told me. When you are able to just step out on faith and walk on this water out here. No matter if you homeless or not right now, no matter if you living with somebody right now, all your needs will be supplier, supply if you are stepping out on faith. This is a painful sacrifice that you must go through in order to become success. So if you are, you are your living handles, your living standards don't have as much stability as you want them to, to right now, okay? But you know deep in your heart where you're going, you know what you were called to do, 
and you've set out to do it, this is a painful sacrifice that you have had to make because you are about to become a success. Comment below right now. Speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment and say, I'm about to become a success. You know it. You can feel it in your soul. This video is confirming you are about to become a major success. Okay? The seventh painful sacrifice that you must make in order to become a success. You may have to neglect some of your loved ones. I'm going to say that one more time. You may have to neglect some of your loved ones. These could be family members, such as sisters, okay? They could be cousins, people that you grew up with. When you're on your journey to success, you might not have the time to spend with your loved ones like you will want to or they will want you to, okay? Now, you're in it to win it like producer Michael say. You're in it to win it. And now, since you're becoming a success, you know that you're doing what you're doing and you may have to neglect your family members all to come back to make their futures bright so that you can make it easier for them to become a success. So if you're in a position right now where you feel like you don't have enough time to spend with the people that you love to mo the most, your wife, some of your children, they're not around right now. Just know that it's all for a special purpose and that's for you to become a success, okay? So if this painful sacrifice resonate with you, just simply give this video a thumbs up right now, okay? Now the eighth sign, the eighth painful sacrifice that you must make to become a success I'll give you a hint. When Peter was fishing and Jesus walked by him, he asked Jesus, hey man, how can I be like you? How can I go to where you going? What do I need to do? Should I go back home and get my belongings? Jesus said, no, you don't need anything. You just need yourself. So the eight painful sacrifice that you must make to become a success, you may have to give up some of your belongings. Yes, you may have to give up that car. It may just have to get repossessed. You may have to foreclose on your home. They may have to take it away from you. You may have to get evicted. Okay? You may have to go to the nonprofit organization and give them some of your clothes because you're carrying too much weight. You can't travel with all this weight. You can't become successful with all this weight. They only let you take two items with you on the plane. Carry-on item or in a bag, right? Even a plane, you can't even carry baggage with you. So you may have to give up some of your belongings on your journey to success. Because it's all about having less weight to carry. The less weight you have to carry, the faster, the stronger, the easier it'll be for you to travel. Okay? So if you're feeling like you're giving up a lot of things, okay? You're giving up a lot of assets. Okay, you may even be giving up money to people that's just asking you for money all the time. You may have to give up anything that you consider that belongs to you in order to become a success because it's a sacrifice. It's not yours. You got to sacrifice this. Okay, so these are the eight painful sacrifices that you must make to become a success. Now, if all of these sacrifices resonated with you, consider yourself very blessed, okay? I don't know. I don't think anybody got all eight of them. But if you got all eight sacrifices, speak up, let your voice be heard below, and leave a comment and let me know if you got all eight sacrifices, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to end it off like this. I'm going to put some money in your pocket because I love to talk about money, and I want you to make a lot of it, okay? Pay me back when you become successful. But I'm about to give you some money right now. But anyway, 
So I've been using this application called Digit for the past week and a half now, okay? And I downloaded it, it's a free app. I downloaded it onto my phone from my app store. I didn't believe to talk what everybody was talking about. They talk about, oh, as soon as you get it, you're gonna get money. And if you share the people trend, they're gonna give you $5. But if you share it to like two people, they're gonna give you $20. If you share it to five people, they're gonna give you $250. And little did I know, when I shared that thing to some of my friends, on my messages, notifications came up talking about trend. You just earned twenty dollars. Trend. You just earned. I'm like, what? I'm like, hold on. I had to go on Google and like research. Is this really legit or not? But it's legit. The application is called Digit. Use my link in the bottom to get started if you want to start making money, doing nothing. Just telling people around you to download the app, and then they're gonna send you double and triple the amount. Okay. So download Digit right now. It's going to be in the description section and the comment section of this video. All right. Now, another way to make money is I have this very special course called the Money Vortex course where I teach you metaphysically how to psychically attract money into your life using your mind power. Now, everybody getting this course, eating it up like hotcakes because I sell it dirt cheap <laughs> and I'm only selling it dirt cheap because I know you need money. Okay, so if you want my money vortex, okay, it's gonna be in the comment section as well, right below the digit application. Download the digit application, get the money vortex, and I guarantee you, you will be making big money. Okay, so these are the eight painful sacrifices you must make before you become successful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos every single day check out one of my other videos right here i'll see you in the next video peace